This lecture、uh, provides more detail about how to use R to run OLS regression and provide more detailed interpretation of the results from an OLS regression. The very beginning, we're going to quickly go through data management steps. So we use、um, the following package、uh, to reading a data data file with the read dot dta function. And after we read in data, we use the subset function to select cases and variables. And we're going to include、uh, age, sex,、uh, and education, race, and income uh, as um, variables of interest. And we're going to use、uh, inc one k as our response variable. Basically, it is income、uh, measured in one thousand dollars. Okay, and we're going to select cases、uh, with age、uh, greater than equal to twenty, small equal to sixty-five for years from two thousand to twenty ten, and then、uh, we're going to use na dot omit to、uh, delete missing cases in the least wise、uh, manner.、Uh, and next, we're going to create dummy variable for、uh, sex,、uh, that is female、uh, with a male. Uh, used as the reference category, and we're going to create three dummy variables for race,、um, uh, including white, black, and other. And we're going to omit white、uh, in the regression、um, analysis. So Y is going to be used as the reference category, and then we're going to use the LM function to run OLS regression with inc one k as the response variable age. Female,、uh, black, other, and education as the predictors. Then we're going to use a summary function to summarize the output. Let's run through everything here. So we get the results. We get the results here, and、uh, the first column in the output、uh, table gives us. Uh, the estimates, including the intercept and all the slopes, right? Then the second column is standard error, and third column is for t value, and the last column is for p value, right? And、uh, for a p value that is equal to or smaller than point of five, we say、uh, their associated their associated estimates are statistically、uh, significant. So here,、uh, let's see how to provide interpretation for these、uh, estimates. This estimates, right? For intercept, basically it is equal to, or it is the expected value for the income when all the covariates or predictors are set to be zero. So basically,、uh, this number negative thirty four point five nine 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 zero zero means when we Fold all covariance predictors to be zero. We would expect someone gonna receive negative thirty-four thousand, right, five hundred ninety-nine dollars. Okay, that is owed that amount of money, which does not make a whole lot of sense. But that is、uh, the equation tells us.、Uh, what about the coefficient for age? Well, we're going to say holding all other variables constant or net effects of、uh, other covariates or ceteris paribus, Latin language for holding all other variables constant. We would expect、uh, for each year increase in age,、uh, the income going to increase by point four four one six seven thousand dollars. Okay, for this. Female coefficient. We're going to say well because the reference category is male. We're going to say well holding all other variables constant, being female as opposed to being male is going to decrease one's income by seven thousand seven hundred seventy eight dollars, roughly speaking. Okay, and here for the black coefficient because the reference category is white because y is the dummy variable that's omitted from the equation. We're gonna say well, holding all other variables constant, being black as opposed to being white, is going to decrease one's income by 
800, excuse me, $8,899, roughly speaking, okay? And for the other coefficient, okay, for the coefficient of this other variable, we're going to say, well, holding all other variables constant, uh, being a member of this other ratio uh, group, as opposed to being uh, white, is going to decrease one's income by $2,303, etc. For education, we're going to say, well, uh, holding all other variables constant, uh, for each year increase in education, we would expect one's income to increase by $4,224, roughly speaking. And of all these coefficients, uh, we notice that uh, all of them except uh, other, okay, other, all coefficients are statistically significant at uh, a level smaller than 0 0.001 because you know they're they all have three stars three asterisks right except other because its p-value is um you know 0 0.423470 which is greater than 0 0.05 so all other uh coefficient estimates or parameter estimates have asterisk uh Three asterisks. Okay. Usually, the conventional level significance is set to 0 0.05. So the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. We say, well, they're not statistically significant. Otherwise, if 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 smaller or equal to 0 0.05, we say uh, their associated uh, parameter estimates are statistically uh, significant. In this case, would be intercept, right? Age, female, black, not other, and education and education.